Philip, um, you've been long involved in the Council for Christians and Jews, far longer than I have been. Um, tell me something about your commitment to it and your experience of belonging. Yeah, well, I've been a member of the executive for 24 years, I think. Uh, and every time I think I, it's time for me to drop down, I know that I'm really going to miss it because I have found the Council of Christians and Jews one of those really uh, warming organisations that uh, just does a lot of good stuff in trying to uh, improve the relationship between Christians and Jews and other religions, but mainly obviously Christians and Jews. And it's been a very pleasant uh, experience over the last 24 years of meeting some really dedicated people uh, and highly intelligent people uh, who see this as their mission. Yes, I, I, one thing I love about it is the opportunity to learn from one another and to learn more about one another's yes. faith and to learn more about the connections and the and the distinction, you know, what's distinctive. And, uh, and I'm actually always sad that more Christians don't get involved and learn more about the really one of the foundations of our own faith. It's funny because I, I always want more Jews there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's but more people. Really. It's an organisation that that has sustained itself uh, for nearly 40 years and we're getting to a point where uh, funding is becoming critical. Yes, yes, I, I understand that and it would be wonderful if people would um, make a contribution before the end of the financial year. Absolutely. And we won't set any limit on that, will we? No, no um, we will accept anything, chickens, anything. Uh, no, it's really important because um, a lot of the organisations that have supported us in the past are having their own financial difficulties. Yes. And this is reverberating through. So sadly this year we won't be able to afford to do a printed copy of Geshem, mm -hmm. but it would be really nice if people came out to support that because it's, it's an amazing journal, high quality, interesting articles that uh, there's something for everybody in it. Yes, and, and actually when you think about the long history of the relationship between our communities and you think what's been achieved really since the late 1960s, <coughs> it's remarkable. It it's is. extraordinary. The, the uh, reconciliation that's happened, the rapprochement that's been built, the walking together and the understanding yes. one another. Yes. It's just been a wonderful thing in our lifetime that this has come about. Absolutely, and, and one would never have imagined it uh, in the early years. Um, in fact, there was more problems intra-religiously than there were inter-religiously. Oh, so, <laughs> so we still have as well. But um, it, it's, it's, I think, being recognised more and more uh, that the council is, has a really important role to play. Yes in providing forums in all different forms of workshops and study groups and trying to involve as, as wide a group of people as possible. Yes. And I think that's really exciting. Yes, I do. Um, and it would be so sad to see um, a bigger a bigger restriction on what we can do purely because there's no funding there. Resources. Yes, I agree. So let's hope people are generous. Let's hope they're very generous.